as the bitter fight between the Ukraine and Russia nears the 11-month mark. A leading official in Russia's parliament is warning of a global tragedy if Ukraine gets new weapons from allies. Vyashalab Bolodin, Speaker of the State Duma, the lower house of Russia's parliament, issued the ominous message Sunday following allies of Kiev pledging to provide more armored vehicles, air defense systems, and other equipment to take on Russian troops. He said the country sending more powerful weapons could lead to global tragedy that would destroy their countries. Bolodin said that, quote-unquote, if Washington and NATO supply weapons that would be used for striking peaceful cities and making attempts to seize our territory as they threaten to do, it would trigger a retaliation with more powerful weapons. He claimed that the United States and NATO's assistance to Ukraine has led to a terrible war. While supporters vowed to send billions of dollars in military aid to Ukraine, during a meeting at, Ra at Ramstein's airbase in Germany on Friday, an agreement wasn't reached on Ukraine's urgent request for German-made Leopard 2 battle tanks. The transfer of those tanks needs to approve by Berlin, even though they are in the possession of other NATO nations. When German Chancellor Olaf Scholz was asked about the tanks at a joint press conference with France on Sunday in Paris, he deflected, stressing instead the large contributions Germany has already made to Ukraine. Germany's top diplomat said Sunday that if Poland sent tanks into Ukraine, German officials would not object. German Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbach told French TV channel LCI that while Poland has not sought formal approval, if we are asked, we would not stand in the way. Polish Prime Minister Maciusz Morawiecki vowed to send Leopard tanks to Ukraine with a smaller coalition of countries even if Germany did not give his country the green light. French President Emmanuel Macron said at the same Paris press conference that he hasn't ruled out sending Leclerc battle tanks to Ukraine. One of the factors guiding France's decision would be if the transfer of tanks would lead to an escalation of the conflict, he said. France and Germany were celebrating 60 years of post-World War II friendship during the two world leaders' remarks. Meanwhile, U.S. Representative Michael McCall and Senator Chris Coons on Sunday urged the U.S. to send Abrams tanks to Ukraine to counteract Germany's assistance. Ukraine in recent weeks has asked for more weapons to prepare for a possible new offensive from Russia in the spring. Dmitry Medvedev, the deputy head of Russia's Security Council, said in the meeting at the German airbase that, quote-unquote, let no doubt that our enemies will try to exhaust or better destroy us, while also admitting they have enough weapons to do that. He said if the war which began February 24, 2022 drags on, it could lead to Russia forming a military alliance with the nations that are fed up with the Americans and a pack of their castrated dogs. Medvedev, a former Russian president, warned last week that nuclear war could follow if Russia loses the conventional war to Ukraine. I am Lovely Montoya of Manila STV.